more than 30 operations but without a single fatal accident, the Pencil of the Skies is always in the minds of industry fans as the most elegant aircraft with long slender wings and slim fuselage. Yes, the Airbus A340 makes a strong impression on passengers with its extremely spacious cabin and peaceful experience on board. However, the A340, specifically the minus 300 version with a more leisurely takeoff than ever, is said to have the weakest engines. So why does Airbus put such small engines on the A340's long, bulky fuselage? How do these engines affect the aircraft's performance? Let's find out in today's episode. But before we start, if you're new, please leave a like and subscribe to help us build this channel. And you'll also be the first to see our new content in the future. Now, let's dive in. Well, before now, many people have always wondered, why does the A340-300 have four small engines instead of two large engines? The manufacturer has prioritized redundancy above all when producing this long-range aircraft. To perform long-haul flights over the sea for extended periods of time, aircraft need to be able to maintain flight even if one engine stalls. A two-engine plane will lose 50% of its power, while a four-engine plane will only lose 25%. It is clear that in the event of an engine failure, having four engines provides a higher level of safety than an aircraft with only two engines. And also, when the A340 was designed and introduced in the early 1990, there was still market demand for a four-engine wide-body aircraft for long-haul flights. At that time, the extended range twin engine performance standards regulations were more restrictive. These regulations limit the distance a twin engine aircraft can fly from the nearest airport, which affects route planning and flexibility, especially over oceans and remote areas. And by using four engines, the A340 doesn't suffer from these limitations. This allows the A340 to operate on long transoceanic routes and other remote areas without the same limitations as twin engine aircraft. The long haul market, especially intercontinental flights, is still dominated by four engine aircraft such as the Boeing 747. Airlines expect the high levels of reliability and safety they associate with four engine configurations. And of course, the A340's four engine design provides a competitive advantage by meeting market expectations for long range capability and operational flexibility. Engines capable of providing the high thrust required for a twin engine design with sufficient reliability and efficiency for long haul flights were not yet available. The dynamic manufacturing technology that would eventually power planes like the Boeing 777 and later the Boeing 787 Dreamliner was still in development at the time. This led Airbus to look to the CFM 56 engines, which are among the most advanced and efficient engines available. But their thrust is insufficient for a two engine design on large long haul aircraft like the A340 300. Therefore, only a four engine configuration allows Airbus to use these available engines while achieving the necessary performance indicators. But did you know that? Airbus's original plan was to use a more advanced engine, the IAE Superfan, for the A340-300. This type of engine is designed to be a revolutionary engine using advanced composite materials and titanium propellers. It has a geared turbofan engine structure, which separates the fan speed from the core engine speed by a gearbox. This allows each component to operate at optimal speed, improving efficiency and effectiveness. Superfan aims to achieve a 20% fuel burn advantage over its contemporaries. This significant improvement is expected to make the A340 more competitive in terms of operating costs and environmental impact. By integrating Superfan, Airbus hopes to improve the A340's thrust to weight ratio, thereby enhancing takeoff performance, climb rate and cruising speed. Increased performance also has the potential to extend the aircraft's range and reduce overall fuel consumption, making it more attractive for long haul operations. Contributing to positioning the A340 as an advanced, fuel efficient aircraft on the market. This is especially important given the competition and the need for airlines to reduce operating costs. However, despite the promising benefits, development of the Superfan faced significant technical challenges especially in creating a reliable gearbox that could handle operating pressures without compromising safety or durability. The technology required to bring the Superfan to market proved more complex and time-consuming than expected, 
An Airbus had to use a CFM 56 engine that was smaller, less efficient, and more powerful than the superfan intended. This decision affects the overall performance and efficiency of the A340, as the CFM 56 engine is not ideally suited for large, wide-body aircraft. Let's analyze it. First, the CFM 56 engine, with its 72-inch fan diameter, provides significantly less thrust than engines commonly used on wide-body aircraft. This results in the A340-300 having a lower thrust-to-weight ratio, which affects its overall performance. That's why the airplane needs a longer runway to take off. By comparison, it was found that the A340-300 needs about 10,200 feet of runway to take off at full power, while the Boeing 787-9, with its more powerful engines, only needs about 9,100 feet. With about 34,000 pounds for one CFM engine, so the A340 will get a total thrust from four engines of 136,000 pounds. Meanwhile, the 787-9 is equipped with a 112-inch diameter Trent 1000 and a 111-inch GENX-1B engine with thrust of about 74,000 pounds and 70,000 pounds, respectively. So the total thrust of this aircraft is about 144,000 pounds to 148,000 pounds. It can be seen that the power from two large engines is twice that of four CFM-56 engines. Lower thrust also affects the A340-300's climb rate. The plane takes about 40 minutes to reach a cruise altitude of 38,000 feet at maximum takeoff weight, compared to just 25 minutes for the Boeing 787-9. Furthermore, the aircraft's cruising speed is lower, most efficient at Mach 0.78, compared to other wide-body aircraft that typically fly between Mach 0.84 and Mach 0.92. This results in longer flight times, which can impact schedules, crew training, and passenger convenience. And in an effort to compensate for the lower thrust, Airbus had to increase the A340-300's wingspan by 2.6 meters, which meant adding weight and reducing aerodynamic efficiency. This modification reduces the aircraft's range by approximately 1,000 nautical miles, further limiting its operational capabilities. That's why the engines of the Airbus A340, 500, and A340 is 600 variants have been changed to deliver better performance through the use of more powerful and more advanced engines. Both variants are equipped with Rolls-Royce Trent 500 engines, which can produce about 53,000 to 56,000 pounds of thrust, about 20,000 pounds more than the CFM 56. The CFM 56 can be said to be quite efficient for its size, but it lacks the advanced features and high skip rate of the Trent 500. The Trent 500 has a larger fan diameter of 97.4 inches, which contributes to higher bypass ratios, improved fuel efficiency, and reduced specific size fuel consumption. This helps the aircraft achieve longer flight range and better performance. This engine incorporates advanced materials and design features, including a higher bypass ratio and improved aerodynamics. Its advanced technology also helps improve performance indicators such as fuel consumption, range, and maintenance efficiency. Thanks to better takeoff thrust, the minus 500 and minus 600 variants take off shorter and climb to cruise altitude faster. The aircraft can reach maximum takeoff weight more efficiently and increase flying capacity due to better fuel economy, making the A340-500 and A340-600 suitable for ultra-long routes. The Minus 500 variant is designed for long-haul flights with a maximum range of about 9,000 nautical miles. Benefits significantly from the Trent 500 engine in terms of range, allowing non-stop flight over very long distances. The Minus 600 variant is designed for high-capacity long-haul flights with a maximum range of about 7,900 nautical miles. The increased thrust and efficiency of the Trent 500 engine allows it to carry more passengers and cargo over longer distances efficiently. In conclusion, the Airbus A340 300's use of four small engines was a strategic choice influenced by safety, regulatory, and technological factors. These engines, while resulting in lower thrust, longer takeoff rolls, and slower climbs, ensured redundancy for long-haul flights.
A340 variants like the 500 and 600 variants improved performance with Rolls-Royce Trent 500 engines, enhancing efficiency, range, and capacity. Despite its limitations, the A340 is celebrated for its safety, reliability, and elegant design. But while the A380 Super Jumbo is enjoying a steady resurgence after being grounded during the pandemic, its older sibling, the A340, seems to be about to disappear from the skies. Fewer and fewer customers can experience this aircraft. So if you have, please share it with us.